Hi, and welcome to another uh, session of uh, Wing Chun. Um, in this episode, I'd like to demonstrate a, a freestyle um, beauty form. Um, a lot of people, they learn their forms, but they become very uh, stiff, and they end up um, doing it in application, also very stiff, using the form uh, perfectly in, in an application. Um, the thing is, you, you learn the form perfectly because, uh, you know, the form has to be learned perfectly. So your arm has to be like just right or not an inch off or not an inch off here. So that, that is done obviously very strict. But once you learn the form and you memorize it already, then in practice, you're not supposed to do the form exactly when you do it in practice. You're, you know, everything that you do doesn't have to be perfect. Because, because if you understand already the, the concept behind the form, then you don't need to apply it uh, perfectly as long as it works. So um, that's why it's nice once you've learned the form to then try to use it naturally in a kind of a freestyle kind of way so that you, you break away from the mold and you kind of make it your own and you try to spit out as much as you have already learned from the form into a freestyle way of applicating in 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 the application, um, the um, the PUG form is not really the deadliest. It's actually a form that you should use um, when you are losing, and it's also uh, a form uh, for you to practice as there were as if there were multiple attackers, uh, except for coming from behind. Uh, you are supposed to have, uh, you know, a wall behind you. And the form lets you practice somebody fighting from here, here, and from in front of you. So um, um, they tend to, in the old days, uh, teach you only this form when you're leaving the school. Uh, not because that it's deadliest, but it's because something that will save you, because you would be losing, so you have no choice but to resort to eye gouging, and you have no choice but somebody push you up against the wall that you can use this to get rid of them and then you can use your elbows to protect yourself in very close quarter because uh, your elbows are one of your strongest weapons as well as uh, when you turn this side someone's attacking you you want to turn with this hand leading the way to sweep away whatever punches uh coming uh, this way so that then you can punch and then as soon as you you done that someone's you know, you gotta imagine someone's attacking you from this side, this this way. So as soon as you go like this, you have to shift, and then this hand has to be forward again. As soon as this hand sweeps, then this hand punches. So that's why we have a lot of these things in uh, in beauty, as well as once you you know establish some kind of offense on the side, someone then's going to come back to hit you from the center. So that's why there are a lot of these where you go come back to the center. It's always to remind you. You know, don't spend too much time, you know, fighting with the guy from this side because there are more people uh, fighting uh, you going to nail you from the side again. So that's why if they remind you as soon as you go this side, you have to come back to the middle. And as soon as you go from this side, you have to come back to the middle. And it trains you to fight with uh, multiple attackers. So uh, here it is. Uh, once you get, you know, too much into the actual form, you get stiffened up so much. Uh, it's nice to practice the form freely, naturally, and just spit out random moves from the form PUG. Uh, so here's a demonstration. Uh, I hope you like it. Uh, take a look and enjoy.